Some of these books go back to Christmas of last year, so it's been a minute. I also have not wanted to think about last year in a while, so... Hey fellow reading warriors, and welcome to this week's video. It is a haul, obviously. As you, if you couldn't tell, it's a haul. Some of these books go back to Christmas of last year, so it's been a minute. I also have not wanted to think about last year in a while, so... So this is going to be a haul of all the books that I got for Christmas and since Christmas. So just for the past couple months, you know, like not, not a huge chunk of time for me personally. Normally I actually don't buy that many books. I definitely prefer checking them out from the library or reading them over audiobook also from the library. So I don't actually buy that many books. I definitely want to buy books and I want to keep buying books but that's just not normally how I do things. So most, uh, actually I think at least half of these books are probably Christmas. So this might be a very long video so I'm going to try and give very basic descriptions of books just because I don't want this video to be a million years long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it now. So the first book I got was from my mother-in-law and she got me The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. This is a, almost a classic. It's a little bit older, but it is sci-fi. So this is about a world where they discover a new planet and they discover life on the planet, I believe. So they're deciding who to send to this planet and they choose like a very interesting collection of people. Like I think it's a priest, a Jesuit priest, an astronomer, a physician, an engineer, and a child prostitute turned computer expert. So that's a very interesting group of people to band together to introduce your entire species and world to another planet that you have no idea what it's going to be like. So this is going to be a very interesting sci-fi read and I'm really excited for it. Then moving on, one of my friends decided to put together her very own book box for me for uh, Christmas and so she had like a book and she had tea, she had chocolate, she had a couple of things in there. Um, if you want to like see a video where I legit unbox this homemade boxing, that will be in the description below and also might pop up here. Um, but the book that she gave me in there was To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. She also gave me this bookmark which is a mermaid and with some pretty gems. This is really cool. So this is about a siren who she collects the hearts of princes and she is exiled and has to be human for a while and then she ends up running to a prince and yeah, what do you think? So I'm really excited to read this. I'm, I started it because I, I always start books immediately when I get them. I always read at least the first couple chapters and then, I'll, and then that's when I'll pause them and then I won't say I'm actually reading it until I get like an actual chunk of the way through the book. I'm kind of thinking of saving this for like summer because water and beach and things like that. So I'm really excited to read it, but I might save it a little bit until summer. Then I'm going to talk about three books that I got for Christmas that my family has been giving me every year for Christmas and on my birthday and I'll go through them very quickly. And they are some of the Disney Twisted Tales that I didn't have. So like Conceal Don't Feel, I have read this already. Um, I believe it's in my December wrap-up if you guys want to check out my review of it. Otherwise, I do also post reviews on Instagram, so if you want like an in-depth review, you can go there as well. They also got me the newest one, which is Unbirthday. Oh, so Conceal Don't Feel was by Jen Kalanita, and Unbirthday is by Liz Braswell. This is the Alice in Wonderland retelling. What if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very, very late? And then they also gave me Reflection, and this is by Elizabeth Lim, and this is What If Mulan Had to Travel to the Underworld. And then the last two books that I got for Christmas are Girl, Serpent, Thorn, and this is by Melissa Bachardos. And I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. So this is about a princess who's kind of locked away from all society because she poisons everyone she touches, or she... There's something about her that prevents her from going out into society, but then it's her brother's wedding, and so she's like should I go or should I not? And it's her journey to figure out if she's kind of a monster or a demon 
or if she's actually something good, I think. So, but this cover is gorgeous. And it's not that big a book, so I really hope to fly through it soon, hopefully. And the last one I got for Christmas was Seasons of the Storm, and this is by El Cosimano. Cosimano. This is a really interesting fantasy book where you, when you die, you can become a season, and the change from season to season happens because the next season hunts that season, and once they kill them, then the seasons change, and then someone else like becomes that season when it's time. It's a really, it's a very interesting cycle, and it's just such a rich and creative idea. I am so excited to read this. I love it. This battle is not yet lost, not yet lost in the midst of chaos. There's also opportunity. A perfect storm lies ahead. You can let it destroy you, or you can take control of it. How the story ends is up to you. So excited. Alrighty, and now we're on to the second and last chunk of books. These are books that I have bought for various reasons recently within the past two months. And yeah, I'm excited to read. Some of them I've already read and I'll get into that when I get to the book. But the first one on this list is Homegoing by Yag Yassi. I talk about this book a little bit more, or actually a special guest talks a little bit about this video I most recently filmed. Um, titled African Literature, A Brief History and Recommendations. Uh, I was in a bookstore and I saw this book and I was like, oh my word, I have to read it. So this is basically about two sisters in Ghana who are separated and lead very different lives. One gets married off to, I think, an Englishman and the, yeah, and the other uh, is captured in a raid. So they live very different lives. And I think it's going to be a tearjerker. Again, it's a very short book, so I'm probably just going to cry my way through this entire book in like a day, <laughs> honestly. Next, I've got a couple contemporary romances, which are really not normally my thing, but you know what? I did it. So first off, we have Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, and then we also have Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. I brought these two books as well as Lovely War by Julie Berry. I bought these for the Valentine's a thon readathon that happened earlier in February, and I read all three of these books for said readathon. So I bought them, I read them, and I'm now hauling them. My vlog will be also in the description below and probably somewhere up here if you want to check out the vlog. Otherwise, I also did a TBR video and it was a whole thing. It was so much fun. But yeah, I got these, and oh my word. They will also be featured most likely in a recent Reads video that I will get to at some point. I also bought You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson, and I bought this kind of for the readathon. I didn't need it for the readathon, but I saw it in the store and I was like, I can't leave here without it. I just can't. So it was the idea that I was going to read it for the readathon if I had time, which I did not. But I really want to read this really soon, so I am super excited. Also, I realized I've stopped giving summaries for books. Um, that's just because there are so many. Uh, basically, Prince Charming is the younger sister um, whose older sister is getting married to the Prince of Scotland. She has a hard time adjusting to royal life. Her Royal Highness, uh, the girl, moves to Scotland and is roommates with the Princess of Scotland. They are in the same universe. They are the same royal family of Scotland, and it's an enemies to lovers. And then Lovely War is a love story told um, through the Second World War through the eyes of mostly Aphrodite, but there's also Hephaestus and Ares because Aphrodite is trying to sort out the situation between the two of them. So she's telling the story. You Should See Me in a Crown is when a girl loses her scholarship or doesn't get a scholarship to go to college and then she realizes that the prom queen actually gets a scholarship. To go to college and she's like oh my word I need that so she campaigns to be prom queen except she lives in a conservative community where um, going to the prom with the same gender as yourself is kind of frowned upon and uh, the main character from You Should See Me a Crown is going to crush that as well as be beautiful and amazing at least I assume then okay I've got two more books here Whew. I think I've been going through this very quickly and if I'm talking very quickly I'm sorry so the next book that I bought actually is Raising Dragons, and this is by Brian Davis. I bought this book because it was suggested by a subscriber. 
um, down in the comments and I was like oh my word you have sold me on it I have to read it so I bought the first book there are more in the series but I figure as I read it I'll buy the next book so I'm really excited I will be vlogging me reading this book as a reading my subscribers recommendation so if you have any recommendations of books you want me to read re leave them down below and I will buy them and read them it may take me a little bit but I'll get there I'll get there the last book that I have to share with you was actually an arc an advanced readers copy that was shared with me um, by really by the product developer working on this and a little bit by the author but like I'm so excited. So it's Where the Briar Sleep by Emma Baven. This I am so excited for. It's like Victorian horror and oh my word, I just, I've heard so many good things about it. And this is coming out in July so it's going to be quite a while before it comes out. But I am just so excited that I really want to read it. I'm definitely going to read it before spooky season. Normally I would save something like this for spooky season aka September, October. But I'm going to try and read it in spring, which is going to be very interesting, and I am super excited. Yeah, so that is all the books that I've hauled. I have hauled a total of 14 books, which for me is a pretty decent slash big amount, uh, but I'm really excited to read all of these, hopefully soon and very soon, but there are obviously still books on my shelf that I need to read anyway. So, yeah. Comment down below if you have read any of these books and I haven't, let me know what you thought of them. Otherwise, I'm always here for more recommendations, like I said. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or you're excited to see any videos that might feature these books coming up in the future. Otherwise, click the subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell notification so that you know when I post, which by the way, will be every Thursday. So keep in tune for that. And until I see you guys in my next video, I wish you Happy reading.